as a network software provider, Mavenir's name is now synonymous with automation, as well as the drive for openness and interoperable interfaces. We're here at MWC with John Baker of Mavenir to discuss how the market is evolving, as well as the role Mavenir can play for further network openness and automation. John, thank you for joining us. Now, 2021 ended with a record-breaking plug fest, all signs that the ecosystem is growing. Can you tell us what role Mavenir played in this? Yeah, it was a, it was a great event for the ORAN community. You know, Mavenir participated in four locations in uh, Europe, India, and the United States with respect to testing ORAN product. Um, I think over 100 companies participated, so it's a significant sign that the community is investing in Open RAN or ORAN interfaces. And um, you know, we provided the complete end-to-end -end solution uh, for many of these plug fests. And uh, so, you know, and it wasn't just a, tr a plug and try; it was a real sort of product qualification of uh, do the interfaces work? Do they meet spec against formal test equipment? So, you know, I think in the next six months to a year, you're going to see these 100 companies suddenly blossom into real product suppliers and um, it's going to be really interesting in the marketplace. John, can you now take us through some of Mavenir's key milestones in Open RAN over the last six months? Yeah, I think the most significant one is with DISH. Um, and I think there were some press releases last week about the DISH network in Las Vegas. Um, that network is now starting to go live and, and that is actually the first Open RAN 5G standalone network uh, that's been built actually on a, on a global basis. So um, over 150 sites now built and integrated in Las Vegas and uh, you know, DISH has got very aggressive rollouts for uh, 2022, 2023. So we're glad to be part of that as part of that ecosystem. Um, you know, we've also had uh, you know, trials going on with Airtel, um, number of trials in Malaysia. Um, I think the, 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 the community is really switching on to Open RAN now as an alternative uh, for, the, for the two or three uh, incumbent suppliers. So um, I think 2022 is, is the year of Open RAN, really. It's uh, you know, a, lot, a lot happening. You're seeing Vodafone turn on with Samsung, Mavenir, small cell deployment with Vodafone, um, but a lot, a lot changing in the wireless ecosystem. Looking at this year specifically, what can we expect from Mavenir? I think, I think you're going to see the number of wins grow with Mavenir. Um, you, you know, the great thing about Mavenir is that we're not just a RAN supplier. You know, we're a complete end-to-end -end system supplier from uh, everything in, you know, cloud core to cloud RAN um, or open RAN in that sense of the word. It's, uh, you know, all cloud-based. You know, we have product with Amazon. But, you know, Mavenir continues to grow strength, you know, strength to strength. You know, we're over, over 5,000 people now. Um, doubled the size of the company in the last two years. And so, you know, we're getting really positioned to become one of the major telecommun telecommunication suppliers. Finally, Mavenir commissioned a survey recently which showed that 98% of MNOs are serious about open RAN. So do you agree with that number? Does it seem realistic? And what's your stance on this from a vendor viewpoint? No, the, the survey that Mavenir commissioned was, is very realistic. You know, the operators are showing the signs of frustration with the existing incumbent suppliers, you know, lack of innovation, poor delivery, um, and they're actually encouraging the open RAN community to develop these products faster, quicker, and, and bring them to the marketplace. And um, to that extent, you know, the, the 100 companies plus that participated in the ORAN plug fests um, is a sign that the, you know, the industry is about to burst open in the next six to nine months in terms of supply and choice in the marketplace. So um, it's keeping everybody on their toes. It's a fantastic opportunity. And uh, you know, I think telecom telecommunications in the next, uh, next two years is going to look very, very different from today where it's really monopolized by two, uh, two incumbents. John Baker, thank you very much. Absolute pleasure.